All right, in this video, I want to talk about glycogen storage disease. Okay, this is a really interesting question, kind of a clinical question for those of you interested in the health field. Um, it says glycogen storage disease uh, diseases are inherited disorders of glycogen metabolism. So, for example, Van Garrick's disease is caused by a deficiency of liver glucose 6-phosphatase. Okay, remember, look, look at this, I got it right this time. Glucose 6-phosphatase, which is in the gluconeogenesis pathway. And it results in an enlarged liver and low blood sugar. So why does it do that? That's basically what the question wants to know. So in my prepared answer, and this is how I would answer it and how I did answer it on exams and such, um, the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase converts glucose 6-phosphate to glucose. Okay, remember, it's the final step of the gluconeogenesis pathway. So it's required to release glucose into the blood. If you don't have this enzyme working properly, you're not going to release glucose into the blood when you need it. Um, and a deficiency in this enzyme means the liver cannot rapidly supply the body with glucose. Remember I said before in previous videos that a rapid supply of glucose is essential. And our body has mechanisms designed to allow us to do that. Now, in this case, one of those pathways, gluconeogenesis, and the final step that actually releases the glucose into the blood is not operating efficiently. And if it's not operating efficiently, then we're, going, we're not going to have glucose when we need it. So that's going to result in what's known as hypoglycemia. Okay, And so that accounts for the low blood sugar, or hypoglycemia. And it means it will be difficult also to access glycogen stores. Okay, and the reason it's difficult to access glycogen stores um, is because high concentrations of glucose 6-phosphate, okay, which is the which is the intermediate or you want to say or the reactant of that of that particular reaction that produces glucose in the gl gluconeogenesis pathway. Um, are not conductive to glycogen breakdown, okay? Essentially, it has inhibitory properties on glycogen breakdown. So glycogen concentrations would increase, okay? You wouldn't be able to break glycogen down in the liver as efficiently. And if you can't break the glycogen down in the liver, guess what? It's going to enlarge, okay? So that accounts for your enlarged liver. So basically, we have two factors working here. We have uh, the inability to break down glycogen efficiently, which results in an enlarged liver. And we have the inability to produce glucose from glucose 6-phosphate um, in the gluconeogenesis pathway, which means we're not going to have as much glucose in the blood as we need, okay, or as we should have, resulting in hypoglycemia. All right, and that's basically how this question is answered.